Last month, we got the incredibly exciting announcement of Splatoon, but there are even more exciting announcements to come throughout the month of November. As from the midpoint of the month, we're expecting to see some fairly major update news coming from Nintendo. Most likely in the form of a brand new trailer over on YouTube, or perhaps a Twitter post. Now, in case you don't follow Splatoon news too closely, Nintendo likes to make the month before a major new update, the month where they actually reveal the content for this update. Therefore, that means that in November, just like we got back in November 2022, they'll be revealing some major new update content additions for what's coming in the chill season 2023. It'll be our last update of the year, and it looks like we should be getting some fairly decent reveals this time around. For example, we can expect to see things like we do every single time, which is probably some new main weapon types. Also, we can expect to see two new maps added to the game. One of these heavily appears to be Bluefin Depot, a highly requested one. It was discovered in the game's files that this one should be returning within this update, so that is really exciting news, and I personally can't wait to get it back. I do think Bluefin Depot is honestly one of the better maps in the game's history, so this will be a great one to have in Splatoon 3. The other map should be a completely new one. There's also been lots of discoveries about potential new specials as well, so that is something that we could potentially see within this update. We don't really know exactly what these specials would really entail at this point, we'd have to wait for more details from Nintendo, but it definitely would be a pretty major update if we did end up getting one or two new specials in this particular content update. I'm personally really hoping that Nintendo will go down the path of actually making a trailer for it. We have seen that for the last few updates, however, for some strange reason back in March, when we got the update for the fresh season, when they revealed it in February, they just gave us a Twitter post rather than an actual trailer, despite the fact that that update was actually full of content. I'm hoping they won't do this again though, I'm really hoping that we will just get a proper trailer because that's what I love to see. So if we do, that'll probably happen somewhere in the middle of the month. Nintendo usually likes to have about two weeks to reveal all of the content for the update. What they'll do first is they'll release a trailer or a major Twitter post like I said, and then on their Twitter account for basically every single day afterwards, they will share more and more news about the update, going in depth about all the content additions. So we'll learn about things like new kits and such. So yeah, there's definitely a lot to look forward to throughout the month of November. Don't forget, we're also getting the Deep Cut Amiibo update, which will actually give us their gear for the first time, which is really exciting. So we do even have some new content coming in November itself, which is really cool. But personally, I'm most excited to learn about what the next update, the Chill Season, is going to be, because I really enjoyed the one we got last year, which gave us Big Run. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below though, what do you think we're going to see within this update? If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing and turning on notifications for more.